Welcome to a quick five minute part eight. So, after yesterday, we have found out that the stator goes to Earth here. Okay, um, I remember, I know earlier I made a video about the load being balanced and having read this, I have changed my opinion on how this works. Okay, so you have two hot wires. One goes to one th uh, three of them, and then the other one goes to the other three. This is a similar picture. Uh, the diagram's kind of wrong, really. but And then you have the hot wire that goes to the CDI as the seventh coil. If you count the coils in there, there's seven of them. Okay, um, So three of them are on there, three of them are on there, and then the pickup voltage is picked up from here and then connected to the red and black wire which is the same color on my circuit. Now I was thinking that you these are all used in conjunction and then balance off each other sort of like on any other kind of AC generator to create the voltage in total RMS style so you know, RMS is like the average voltage. Turns out that although that is a correct theory this works with the earth being connected here and you have two so whether or not the earth needs to be there as part of the circuit or if it's just to account for if the motor is uh, not creating a good connection through the stator, I'm not quite sure. So that is how we will solve that problem. So I uh, had a very flat battery yesterday that was, I assume, caused by when I was doing my dodgy live circuit, which I preach against from now on and always did anyway and knew better and still did it anyway that when I had this all connected up to my battery, I have flattened it to the point where it is ridiculously flat. Now, tomorrow, I will be getting a CD, uh, sorry, a multimeter so that I can connect up my regulator correctly so that I can wire up this part and this part. Sorry, no, we're not, we're not going to wire up the lights yet. We're going to wire up the charging system through the CDI, uh, through the, sorry, through the regulator temporarily so I can use the drill to spin it and charge up the battery and make sure everything's going properly. And we're going to earth the stator. It does say in some other diagrams from the same system, you can just delete the earth if you wish. I suppose you probably could. So that makes me think that it's probably nothing to do with balancing the load out. Now remember, if you look up AC charging or AC generating, what I'm get, what I told you yesterday is a similar theory, and it was really only me being theoretical. Okay, so um, we've got the regulator here. I need to test that with the multimeter that I'm getting tomorrow, uh, payday tomorrow, <laughs> um, so that I don't break anything uh, that I haven't mucked around with yet. My stator has nothing wrong with it, it was simply me not understanding how it worked completely and not having the appropriate tester. Light tester is okay for some things, not good enough when you're rewiring the whole thing. Uh, here, it's, here it says AC lights, I'm not sure if that means accessory lights or alternating current lights um, to help flash the... Um, Indicators, I suspect that means a uh, um, accessory, accessory lights, not AC lights. Uh, the regulator that this is connected to has the flasher part within it. That's how you, that, when you look at it, it's right next to the switches for your indicators and so on, and that's um, all connected together, so that's part of how that works. The regulator here is the same regulator. There are four wires on there. Now, this is the last part of the video. Um, that I am going to tell you, aside from uh, the end, I'm going to give you a repeat on the sermon of using your tester, building your circuits, and doing everything properly, rather than just being a dodgy person who hurries up live circuits and tries to wing it, because that is not actually how you do anything, you'll just damage stuff, break stuff, and I don't want to do that, because then I have to wait for months on end for things to turn up often, and if you don't want to spend the money, and you want to buy cheap things from other countries, then you have to wait, so... That's my advice there. If you are quite happy to break things and spend obscene amounts of money replacing things over and over again, go for it. Right, last part of the video. This CDI has an earth. That's a standard CDI. This is the main difference that you need to change often when you put on the racing CDI that is available from AliExpress. I use the term racing CDI a little bit loosely, but the main difference is, as I did explain earlier, which was the hard video to understand if you didn't understand electricity, and the main reason you need to be really and the know about the system drawing in voltage rather than pushing it out, that the earth comes down through the coil here on the um, on the CDI from 
AliExpress. On a standard one, you'll go down to Earth. On the the on the CDI, I have this is not an Earth, it's an Earth. You put 12 volts from the battery to here. Okay, not directly from the battery. From the ignition is probably a better way to explain that. I don't know why. It's just how they work. Okay, so the way you can check what's connected to what obviously is same thing as uh, the way I'm going to check my regulator with my bell tester to work out which way the diodes are connected if you connect to the wire that goes to your kill switch and one will be going back to your stator that's quite obviously your kill switch circuit and your mains from the stator then you can work out what is connected to the coil whether it be the pickup and so on okay you see where I'm going with that so that you can work out what is connected to what rather than relying on what color the wires are because they are often all different um, I'm going to do that tomorrow hopefully and start giving you lessons on how to work things out like that um, remember this is a learning process I don't actually know how to do this completely that's why you are getting getting information from me that's wrong here and there I'm just working out as I go and then I'm winging it but winging it the right way so don't be uh, not confident that I don't know what I'm doing I, uh, I know how to work all this stuff out. It's just a matter of having the uh, right stuff on hand so I can do the job properly. Thank you. This is uh, a quick part eight. Hold around for part nine for tomorrow, which will be a longer video. And then hopefully I can start assembling everything in a temporary but not live test situation so that I can actually just have the moped running in a few, in a few days, maybe in a week. Thank you.